Hey everyone, layout update time. So I just kind of have a mess of cars right now on the layout. I've been going through a bunch of the cars and, and doing some upgrades and actually putting some together too. I got all my tankers out that I have. I've got eight of them for that are going to serve the chemical industry here. And I wanted to do some switching to that industry. But I need all my cars running and out of the boxes. A lot of these I've never even taken out of the boxes. Just got a various mix of... Uh, they're all Proto 2000, or I should say uh, Walters Proto cars. Actually, some are just Walters, I think, in here. They're all basically the same car. That one's different. That's an older Walters Proto, and that one's actually a really nice car. It's got see-through grates and a lot of under good undercarriage detail. All the rest of these are just the Walters cars, the Proto series, I believe. And I needed to upgrade them, put uh, metal wheels, well, better, better metal wheels on most of them. Uh, if you look, the flanges on these are, or not the flanges, but the actual wheel sizes. See how wide they are. So I've been upgrading all my cars in the entire fleet with the semi-scale wheels. The lighting's not great here. Can't really tell. But the semi-scale are a little bit more prototypical. They look a lot better, especially on the tank cars. So I got all those on there, and then I uh, upgraded all these to Katie's too. Real Katie's. Most of these have the the, the Walther's plastic uh, Katie style couplers on them, which I just don't like. They look good because they're more prototypical. They're smaller. But they're just harder to, to use when you're actually trying to do switching with them. They don't uncouple as nice. Uh, the plastic on them, I just don't like them. So even though the, the KDs, the, just the standard size KDs are a little bit bigger, they just make operating the layout so much easier. So that's what I've been upgrading all my cars to pretty much the layout. I just buy those by the bag and just do everything. It's kind of ridiculous at this point. But uh, a couple new cars. I got another Ontario, uh, Ontario Northland box car right here. And then another chassis system, uh, high cube. This one is a newer uh, Bachman car, or Roundhouse, I'm sorry, that's a newer Roundhouse. You can tell because they don't have the, or at least they somewhat fix the injection molding little point you see on them like you'd see terribly on the older cars. So a little bit better quality car, car there, and they have the uh, the um, excess height labels on the sides, or, which make them look a little bit nicer. Yeah, not expensive, I paid like $10 for that car, which wasn't too bad. And then this car I liked as well, I think I paid about $10 for it, um, just another uh, kit that I threw together and upgraded with the Katie's and the uh, metal wheels. But we get a lot of Canadian traffic here in Michigan because the tunnel that goes under the Detroit River, we get both CN and uh, CP traffic. So these cars are actually pretty common to see here, along with BC Rail and some other Canadian type cars, which is pretty cool. Another new acquisition is a couple flat cars. So I got this flat car here from Walther's and actually bought two of these because I don't, I've been browsing just the Walther sales recently and you can find some pretty good deals. So this car minus the containers was $13. Uh, I bought two of them actually. I got another one here. So that one's still in the box there. A little bit different. This one's not for containers, just a generic flat car. But for $13, you can't really beat that. I mean, it's got metal wheels. Again, it's got, these didn't have real Katie's, but they had the fake Katie's on there. Uh, just a fairly good detailed car. And I mean, after going to train shows and stuff, like I've talked in some of my other videos, you can't really find anything for $13, even, you know, regular Atherton old school blue boxes. So. Uh, that was a pretty good deal there. And then beyond that, I've just been trying to get some vehicles in the layout. So I've um, just got a tanker there. I've had that one. Uh, I found it in one of my boxes, so I threw that in the layout. I've got a old Chevrolet Caprice sitting over there. And then I've got a couple trucks as well. So I got, let's see. Sorry about the camera. Um, international just flatbed style truck. And then... Uh, UPS truck as well. This one actually I think is too new. Yeah, 7600. I think that's from the later 2000s. I think this truck's actually too new, but it doesn't matter. I'll use it anyway. I mean, these cars, it's silly. These are actually more expensive than a lot of rolling stock at times. These things can get really, really expensive. So when they're on sale, I'll try to grab a couple, which is what I've been doing. I got these from Walthers as well, um, among a few other things. So that's really all. I haven't done too much. A little bit more scenery stuff, but nothing really noteworthy to talk about. It's been mostly just working on cars, um, getting all those operational, and getting all the kits I ever put together built. I've got some building work in the background, again, for my um, chemical industry here. This area here where this pad is, I'm going to have kind of a stack um, set up. I'll have to find a picture of kind of what I'm doing prototypically with some tanks there. And then there'll be a, a like a, a walkway going over here. And then there'll be a tower that sits over this portion of the track. And that's where there'll be some hoses hanging and stuff like that for filling in empty in or whatever they do over here. This will come from the prototype I'm using to build this chemical industry. That'll be a fun little area to build. So like I said, I've just started working on that. I'll do a separate video on that once I'm there. 
I've still got a lot of painting to do. I haven't painted any of my fence or buildings. My paint booth that I have isn't in a permanent spot. I kind of just take it down when I need it and put it up when I need it. So when I go to paint stuff, I kind of batch everything together and do everything at once just because uh, it takes a bit to get set up. I need to find a better spot for it, but my basement's just a mess right now. I don't have room for a permanent spot. But These containers too, these were Walther's kits. Uh, I built those. They're actually really nice, and these were on sale. They were 7 or $8, I think. Containers can be massively expensive too. You see some people's layouts where they've got a you know a container train going where they've got you know, you know hundreds of these containers there and I mean that's thousands of dollars they've spent buying those things and, and getting them there so I understand the cost behind it but these three I think would be kind of neat for the chemical facility I could just imagine it'd be something else that I could switch over to here um, you know, imagine that building's got a crane inside where they could lift these containers off and then drop them onto trucks or do whatever they want with them so just some more opportunities for switching here on the layout but. That's really all I've got now. Hopefully I'll get some uh, more real updates done here in the next week or two. I should have some time to do that. But anyway, just a quick update. Thank you for watching.